Welcome to FreshMind.com. My name is Eric, and I'm going to show you the basics of using set-driven keys. I have a scene here. Uh, basically, there's a gun inside of this that we're going to use set-driven keys to operate. We're going to have the gun come out, uh, maybe rotate and lift upward. We've got some objects here on the side that are going to jettison out and then into the ground. And then over here in the front, we've got a couple of pieces of geometry that are going to jettison out into the ground as well, just for supporting our gun to keep it from tipping over while it's shooting. All right, I'm going to go ahead and select my ground plane. I'm going to go to the attribute editor, where the polish, the plane shape uh, node. I'm going to go down to where it says render stats, change it to double sided, put it on opposite. That way I can rotate around my gun without the ground plane interfering. I'm going to add the ground plane to a layer. I'm just going to call this layer LYR underscore ground plane. I'm going to change it to reference, that way I don't accidentally select the ground plane and move it or anything. Alright, I'm going to create a control. I'm just going to create a simple uh, nerves circle. You can use anything you want for a control. You can use a uh, object or you can use a curve. I think most people use a curve of some sort. Alright, if you look over in the channel box, I've got some translates and rotates and scales. I don't want any of that information over here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all that simply by going to my Windows menu, go down to General Editors, and then over to Channel Control. This dialog, dialog box appears. In the left-hand column, I'm going to shift, uh, select the top item, shift select the bottom, it selects everything else in the list, and I'm going to click on the Move button down here at the bottom left and it moves all those to our center column which is a non keyable hidden column so now if you look in our channel box you'll see that all the information is gone okay now that that's gone I'm gonna create the attributes that I want so I'm gonna to go to modify go to add attribute I'm gonna call one uh, create one called gun open I'm gonna put a minimum value of 0 a maximum value of 40 and a default value of 0 I'm going to click on Add. We're going to create another one called Gun Rotate. I'm going to put a minimum of negative 10, maximum of 10, and a default of 0. I'm going to add one more and call this one, whoops, doesn't want to go up there. There it goes. Gun Elevation. Uh, maximum of 10, minimum of 0. And you can put whatever values you want, and the default uh, is going to be 0. Click OK. So now if you look over here in our channel box, there are the three attributes that we just created. So our gun, if I click on the word gun open and the middle mouse drag on my screen, you'll see it goes from 0 all the way up to 40. 40 is the highest it goes, and 0 is the lowest it goes. Our gun rotate goes down to negative 10 and goes all the way to 10, just like we told it to default is 0 and gun elevation same thing goes from 0 all the way to 10 alright so let's start using our uh, those attributes to control our gun I've got the doors here I've got the pivot point in such a way that I can use my rotate tool to rotate the door open same thing with the other side alright I'm going to select my well, I don't need to select it yet uh, just go up to your animate menu and go down to set driven key and then over to set and this dialog box will appear just kind of get this so you can see uh, both my control and our weapon our cheesy weapon here okay um, over here in this dialog box we've got two sections. We've got an upper section which is the driver section and we've got a lower section which is the driven section. Everything in the driver section can be used to control everything that's in the driven section. So the first thing to do is we need to load those up. So our nerve circle is going to be our driver. That's our control. We're going to use this circle to control the objects of our weapon. So I'm going to select the circle and I'm going to click on the load driver button so now you'll see it's popped up there and on the right hand side are our attributes okay now let's first thing we're gonna do is control these doors so I'm gonna select both doors and then I'm gonna click on the load driven 
So now we have both of our doors in there. Now I didn't name my geometry. I should have named them all before I did this, but that's okay. I believe you'll still understand what's going on here. Hopefully I will do a good job with that. Um, our doors, when our control for our gun open, when it's at zero, I want our doors to be closed. So let's go ahead and tell Maya uh, that information. So I'm up here in our driver section, I'm going to click on a nerve circle, and I'm going to click on the gun open. And make sure my gun open over here in the channel box is set to zero, which it is. Now here in the driven section, I'm going to select one of our doors, and I'm going to select the rotate. Uh, let me find out. I'm going to click my door over here, use my rotate tool, and it looks like it's rotating around the Z axis. All right, Control Z to undo that. All right, I'm going to click on, down here in the driven section, I'm going to click on my poly surface 2 and click on the rotate Z attribute. Okay, that's where I want it to be when my gun open is equal to zero. So now I'm just going to click on the key button. And now we just told Maya that anytime our gun open attribute is zero, we want our poly surface rotate Z to be right where it's at. If you look in the channel box, you'll see that it's highlighted orange, meaning that it's been keyed. All right, I'm going to select the other door. Make sure the rotate Z is selected and click key. And now it's set. Okay, now when our I'm going to click on the nerve circle up here in the driven section. And now I'm going to change the gun open to 10. So when our gun control open attribute is at 10, I want our doors to be open. So I'm going to go ahead and open our doors to where I want it. See, I'll open this one to negative 100. And then the other one, I'll make it 100. All right, so now we've got our gun open selected. It's at 10, which we want it to be at 10. And we've got our doors set to where we want them to be at uh, when our uh, gun open is at 10. So with our rotate Z selected, I'm going to key it. Do the same thing for the other door, key it. So now let's go ahead and test this. I'm going to select my nerve circle, control. I'm going to click on the word, or I can just click on it. You can just type in the value if you want. So if we type in zero, if you look, our doors are closed now because we told Maya that's how we want our doors when our gun open control is at zero. So if we change it to 10, now our doors are open. And if we click on the gun open, the words in the channel box, just click on it. Now you can middle mouse drag left and right to select any to kind of scroll through those values. So you can see as we change it, our doors open and close. And that's pretty much it for set driven keys. Everything else we do from here forward is basically the exact same thing. All right, so let's change our gun open to 10. When our door, when our gun open control is at 10, I want our gun exactly at the position it is. So what I need to do is, let me go and close this out. Let's do some parenting real quick. I must select this inner tube, shift select this outer tube, and then I'm just gonna press the letter P on my keyboard. That parents those together. What that means is, if I select this outer tube, it automatically selects anything that was uh, all its children. So all its children and grandchildren will move with it. All right, so I'm going to select this outer tube, shift select this body part here, and now I'm going to press P, so those are parented together. I'm going to select this body part, shift select the cylinder, hit P for parent, select the cylinder, shift select this U bracket thing, P for parent, select the bracket, I'm going to zoom in here and select this bottom cylinder, or shift select the, that bottom, or that top cylinder rather, P for parent, select that cylinder, shift select the next one down, and P for parent. So if I select this bottom cylinder and I move it, all its children and grandchildren move with it. And the reason why I did that is so instead of having to key values for every single object on here, if I just key values for this one cylinder down there, it can keep every it can uh, affect everything. All right, so let's start doing some more keying. I'm going to open that uh, box again. So I'm going to go to Animate, down to Set Driven Key, and click on Set. There's our dialog box open. We need to reload our driv or driver, which is our circle. So I'm going to click on Load Driver, and let's see. Our gun open is at 10, which that's where I want it to be. And this is where I want our gun to be at 10. So I'm going to go out here and select uh, this cylinder. And it's going to be moving in the 
Y, translate Y. So I'm going to make sure, actually let me load that as a driven first. Okay, now it's loaded. Translate Y is selected, and now I'm going to key it. Well, I need to make sure the gun open attribute is selected. All right, I can key that. Select our nerve circle. Change the gun open to 20. At 20, I want our cylinder to be right there. So now I'm going to key that. I've keyed the translate Y.